I oh, lean first. still towards Bo. I'm going for Eileen McGrath in this one because of what she's shown us on the stream in her last two matches here on this board. She's won the ball and she's got a tail up. And I just get the feeling that if 95. Bo is starting to tire a little bit, even at the tender age of 18, maybe Eileen could have just a little bit more in the tank and sneak this one in eight or nine legs. Well, let's see. Will it be a first Women's Series title for Eileen de Graff? Where she can become the eighth lady to add her name to the Roll of Honour? Or will Bo 100. tie up a fourth? All of them coming in the last 48 hours. Do you remember the first PDC player to win? 61. Both titles in a weekend when they started doing double headers? Yeah. Oh, well, the obvious 100. answer is not going to be the answer, is it? So I'm not going to say it. So you're not seeing Phil Taylor? No. Yeah, correct, it wasn't. Forty-five. I know a lot of players that have done it. I'm going to make a guess at Robert Thornton. He was the first Scottish player to do it. 124. And he did that in Irvine, not far from his hometown. But it was Adrian Lewis who did it for the very first time. 100. I'm talking four in two days here for Greaves, but it's a slower start for her. And DeGraff is carrying on where she left off in the quarters and semi final. She thrashed Lisa Ashton in the last eight, 4 0. I think if you had this format in the men's, you'd be hard pushed to find anybody who'd win four tournaments out of four. 54 maybe in 20 years but for Bo to do this potentially game shot it would be incredible but de Graff has started very well indeed we could look at winning runs of matches and also discounting the fact that all these matches have been played in two days not many players will have had winning oh, runs as long as 23 games and that's where Bo Greaves is right now and look at the response to having lost the first leg in this match seventh 180 of the day 46 She's over 20 for the weekend. In fact, just the seventh in this tournament. I do want to pardon. Yeah, she's well over 20 for the weekend, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she, she is. 19 yesterday. Yeah, more than the best 59. 180 hitter in this field. If it's seven in this tournament, and she's racked up 33 over the course 95. of the weekend. If she hits two more in this final, she'll be halfway 100. to Fallon Sherrick's entire haul. She's only four behind Lorraine Wynn Stanley and ten behind Lisa Ashton for the entire season. That's alarming. Let's not 90. forget that if Bull Greaves does win this fourth title out of four, she'll be on four thousand pounds in the order of merit. And on the same numerical amount as third placed Lorraine Wynn Stanley. And she will go above her on count back. Game shot. That is a 13 dart response to Bo. And we know she can do this in finals because she did it earlier today. Yeah, and just going back to that point, if she does win this title and put herself in that position, it just leaves the final quartet of women's series events of the year in Wigan in October in a really, really tantalising, taste bud tickling 59. position. That's when you get Bull Greaves against Fallon Shirk first game, right? In a prelim game. Well, she'll be looking over her shoulder, that's 25. for sure. Lisa Ashton, the leading lady on that order of merit, can put her feet up and rest if she wished. 180. It's another one. The onslaught is here. What does de Graff have in response? It's good. This final is heating up nicely. It was a really lethargic first leg. 92. For Bo Greaves, but she's picked up since then. And we saw her win the second tournament with a brilliant 1-6-1 one one checkout on the ball. Can she announce herself in this final with the biggest finish of them all? Bring it on, Bo. One hundred and forty-five. Oh. <laughs> so close. 
the Graf breathes again. Maybe tops tops. There's one of them. 80. Greaves right. couldn't quite finish the big fish. And she ran out of room. Yeah. She went for the same barrel. She should have gone left or right. Game shot. And Greaves punishes. And Bo breaks. And leads. And she's been here many, many times before this weekend. 27 darts for those two legs. Incredible standard. Yeah, just to uh, go back to the, the point we were... Just touching on earlier, Lisa Ashton 100. is officially qualified for the World Championship. But I completely forgot about the 84. position of Eileen de Graff, didn't I? She's actually gone to third in the order of merit. She's actually above Bull Greaves, no matter what happens. Yeah, winning this though would only take her to 4,600 only, I say. As Greaves lands another 180. And Ashton on 8,850 can't be caught by anyone but Fallon Sherrick. 45. But of course would need to be caught by two players. So it's Ali Pally for Ashton. Yeah, I suppose that's a nice consolation. I knew she was going to make it anyway, but sometimes it's nice to hear it confirmed that Lisa Ashton 60. is going to be at Ali Pally again. It also means she'll be at the Grand Slam, doesn't it? Because if nobody else can catch her other than Fallon Sherrick... And she'll join Sherrick at the Grand Slam as the winner or next place in the Women's Series. But anyway, it's not been about Ashton or Sherrick this weekend. It's been about Boa Greaves, and it might be about Eileen de Graff, who 45. hits the 180 to put herself back in the picture in leg four. Forty-three. Things are slowing down for the Dutch lady, and Greaves is hungry. Sixty. First to five this final. And this is where you can say to yourself, whatever I've got 39. left, put it in this game. Don't leave anything behind. And Greaves could be in front by two. Get and is. It doesn't feel like she's been behind in many matches this week. She was behind in this final, but not for long. How does she do it? We've seen it now twice 96. today. She manages to up her game for that final against the best players. Greaves has got gears. And she's got energy. She's got youth. 41. She can do this all day long. But she's doing it in an efficient manner. She's not spending energy by celebrating or grunting or 40. getting downbeat by anything. She's just plodding along, doing what she enjoys. In her own words. 60. It certainly is a, a historic weekend, isn't it? In 42. PDC darts this. Even if Greaves doesn't win this match, the, the first woman to win th three of these women's series titles on the spin, but... To complete a perfect weekend would just be... 96. Incredible. Think of the, the players on the Challenge Tour and the Development Tour. I don't, I'm pretty certain nobody's ever 99. done that. I can't think of anybody who has done that on the Challenge Tour. I've seen Josh Rock earlier this month Nine, get the three 12. consecutive finals. Yeah, he won a couple, didn't he, and then lost a final. 40. But Bo has blown them all away here. Robin Hood there from Eileen de Graff. This is what you call withstanding the onslaught and soaking it up. 44. And feeling unbeatable. Well, she may well be unbeaten. The question is, is she unbeatable? Well, she's trying to force this in now. It looks like the point has not just gone through the flight, but into the back of the stem. And maybe opened it up a little bit, or closed it up a little bit if it's knocked it. Could have been a new flight, that one. Because the other one looked 100. absolutely mashed. Can she take this out? Well, that might be one way to stop her. Get your mate to stand behind the 40. board with a hammer. 
Game Wonderful shot. from De Graff. Double 11 takes it to 3-2. And just when you think Greaves is strolling, De Graff refuses to leave quietly. That's great professionalism there from Eileen, who had a troubles in that leg, but took her time. And when the adrenaline's 44. pumping, Murph, and you've got to replace that flight, it's not the easiest thing to do. It's a bit, I would say, like putting the ball on the tee at the start of a Ryder Cup. Your hands are shaking. The adrenaline's pumping. 81. Tough thing to do, especially when you've got metallic stems. Yeah, she showed plenty of that tenacity at the World Match Play, didn't she? Hard fought final against Fallon Sherrick as well. 120. A bit of bad luck in this last few minutes for Bo Greaves. That dart dangling down and not touching any scoring segment, therefore 120 is scored. Four. You know what they call that in the Netherlands, don't you? In it's a hat stand. That's what they call that shot. 140. Well, despite the hat stand, no doubt about who will be wearing the crown at the end of this weekend. 60. Will she take it in the final tournament? De Graaf keeps fighting. One hundred and forty. Whatever Eileen finds, Bo's got more. And she's only going to need one more. The lead is massive. Double ten. Thirty-seven. And it's a good job the lead is massive. Well, that's evened it out. 40. And probably better for Eileen for it to happen then than when she's really got a chance to nick a leg. And it has had that feeling about it, hasn't it? Despite De Graaf being the better performer in the run-up to this final. 10. It's been about her taking the chances that Greaves has given her. Correct. 60. 160 is a chance, but only if double five has missed. It's more likely to be a miss after a split. Eight. We haven't seen many legs like this from Bo over the last couple of days where doubles have vanished. You could see De Graaf just having a little word with herself. 41. Before. You know, that might be a, her only opportunity. And that looks like a very good guide for Greaves. Game and she guides it in. And she might be... Just moments away from competing, completing a flawless four events here in Hildesheim. 98. There's going to be a lot written about this weekend if she can complete the job in one of the next three legs. 58. There's a lot of YouTube channels out there. A lot of publications that talk about the ladies game and the men's game and the youth 99. game. Games of all levels, but this will dominate the headlines over the next few days. Providing she does get the fourth title. 39. Eileen de Graaf just clinging on to hope. But she does have the throw in two of the last three legs. 58. One hundred. Giraffe still has the advantage in this one. Can keep clinging to the coattails of Bo Greaves, who's won finals so far against Makuru Suzuki five one, five two, and five three. One hundred. Could be an amazing climax if she's given a shot at one six four. It was one six one earlier to win event fifteen. She'll get a look at it. 32. Surely not. Don't surely, call me Shirley. Surely she can't repeat the feat. Well, it's 160 something. Well, this time she doesn't get it. May look at the ball. That was the intention to try and chip it down to a ton. I think that arm's getting a little tired now, and I wouldn't blame her whatsoever. It's an easier chance this time 59. for the title. Could yet be another bullseye finish. 
Has to hunt down the treble 18 first and does. 97. Not this time. She's a fierce fighter. Arden de Graff, and she shows that there. Gets a chance, takes a chance, and gets back within one leg. But Greaves has the darts to win it in this one. Yeah, one bullet dodged. Maybe more to dodge here in leg eight. This 100. is the difficult one. Got to do it against the throw. Got to pray for mistakes and pray that you have got enough 100. to trouble your opponent. At least she has to keep pace. Forty-eight. Forty-eight is an opening, that's for sure. Sixty. But no treble. Means it's pretty much as you were at the start of what could be the last leg of this weekend. One hundred. That's a lovely little snag in the top left corner. Forty. Closing in. On something rather special, having already achieved something incredible. 180. Not just closing in, sprinting towards a fourth successive title. The writing's on the wall. And that writing is going to say, Bo Greaves wins again. 14 for tops. Game. And it's Shot. 180s for sure. Bo Greaves. Doubles and Bo for four wins. Incredible performance over this weekend. History made by Bo Greaves. Eileen de Graff, one short once again. But that girl right there refuses to lose and doesn't lose all weekend in Germany. A phenomenal weekend for her. 4,000 ranking points. And she's now in the top four when she hadn't even played at the start of play on Saturday. She's got to take it all in.